Hello everybody, welcome back to the Game of Muscle YouTube channel where we're going to be doing some V-Rally 4. First impressions of the Virtual Rally 4 on the PlayStation 4. For you, for me, fortuity, forever, not Fortnite. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So uh, let's get ready for some V-Rally guys, off we go. Hello, 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 hello. Look at this. We've got the controller in our hands. He's got the PS4 in his hands, and we're going to be doing V Rally here. Let's. I've literally just loaded up. I've just muted the the in-game music because I don't want to get sued. Hello, Boo San Renana. I don't want to get sued. Um. Matrix here. What's this? Rally car in the Matrix. V Rally developers. Big Ben have been watching too much Matrix here. Look at this. In the background. What's going on? Bullet time. Right. Yeah, enough of that. Let's uh, V Rally mode. I think that's the whole game. Let's go for it. Pedal cam's not going to be in use here. I'm driving with a gamepad. <sighs> so, this is your first lap around the track. Yes. Well, I heard you were a promising driver. Of course. I'm Nancy. Hi, Nancy. You need an agent to help you grow, and you're in luck. I don't want one. Because that's what I do. Oh, I agent. look forward to seeing agent how you cope out Nancy. there today. Who knows? You may even get your first contract. Oh, don't contract. Worry, you'll do great. Here is your car for this practice I love session. signing contracts. It's one of my hobbies. That's one of the... <laughs> so it says to me, what would be fun, uh, I say... I say, do uh, you know what makes a good game? Contracts. I like signing them. Right, engines started here. Oh, look at this! Oh, they love the camera angles here. That's 3D positional audio for the engine. That's cool. Wow. Polo. Right, let's start. This drive hey, Robert Sadler. Place on Hello, Amit Kumar. I don't know. I've not driven yet. Try not to spend too long admiring the gigantic rock monoliths that well, overlook the I'll area. I try not to. The roads are rugged and unpredictable, and it would be a shame to wreck the car on its first outing. Would. Okay, you're ready to go. Oh, Take your time. I want to swim. for the handling. Go at your own pace. <laughs> Castral Edge. <laughs> What's the heartbeat about? Whoa! Oh no, my dual shot battery's low. I'm gonna have to uh, look into the battery here. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. That's where we're going with the handling. We go. Look at hot air balloons Don't worry again. if you're struggling to anticipate certain routes. This is what your co-driver will tell you. They're crucial in helping you prepare for what's to come on the track. A lot of motion there. Right entry into jump maybe. Whoa, nippy boy. And caution short donut into left four. Oh, what are we doing? What's the, I don't know what the handbrake button is. Woo. We're going. Caution, keep right. Break square right narrows over. Ah, oh, there's a wall. Short and left for short. 150 keep middle. It's X handbrake. We're, we're learning here. Okay. Crest in the right 550. Hey, Dre Gross Bob. This is V Rally 4. Left three opens 50. Right three, keep in 30. Now that you're more familiar with your vehicle, we're going to test your skills. 
You'll be timed from your next checkpoint. Let's see how you do. Make square left open. What's handbrake? Right four short. And left five over crest. That's it. The timer has started. Use everything you've learned. Drive I haven't well, learned anything fast, yet. But above all, <laughs> I haven't learned anything. Apparently I'm a fully qualified rally driver because I've just driven into a wall. And left five short. And the right four opens over crest. It's got quite a good uh, game pad hand left on this. Five in the right six. Right five short over bump. Well, there's a wall. 360, no scope, barrel roll. Oh, okay. We're going. It's fine. Did that on purpose. Right four long open. <laughs> Oh, there's a cliff. And left three open. And caution crest, keep right. Don't lie, Raylitz. Four short and right three open. Hello, James Butler. Left four. Well, and we're going to have to turn short. all the steering assists off for this in a minute. Right four and left three, keep middle. Caution Not quite right fun uh, gamepad handling, though. Nothing immediately stands out as being terrible with the gamepad. How's the uh, stream quality, guys? Oh, I want to go for a swim. That looks really inviting. Left three over crest. Oh. And right four, don't cut. In the left three short. I think this is. Four into right three. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. I'm and getting the imp impression it's kind of. Uh, In the right six. More on the arcade side short, right handling four. wise. Seems like quite a bit of depth to the handling though. Short and right four. In the left three thirty. Oh. Look how I use that hill to skillfully turn the car around. The finish. There we go. Midlands. Midland middle middleman seat. Have been adjusted to suit your driving style and total time. But you can always adjust them manually in the options menu. Okay. Manual. Traction control off, ABS off, confirm. There's probably music playing. I'll turn the music off. Oh, is that a radical? I've I turned the music off because um, I uh, don't want to get sued. So let's make the music with the mouth. It's a rally race. Look at these cars. Get hyped for V-Rally. Yeah, V-Rally 4. There you go. That was my... Uh, there's a beehive in my ear. I, I'll have to, I'm going to have to produce all the music in this game. I'm now afraid. that I know what you can do, I can help you get your racing car. Oh, we've got a world map. Okay, let's have a look around the HQ. Hey, Falsario. Let's have a look around the HQ. That sounds good to me. This map's at a bit of an angle. I feel like I'm falling off the planet. Here we are. This is where you can consult your last race results. You've already had a chance to see what you're made of in a rally stage. Yep. Now I'm offering you a V-Rally cross race. Oh, thank you. Have a look at the activity hub to see the available race. She has a really, um, she has like one of those American call center voices where she like enunciates really clearly, but it sounds like it's coming from the back of her throat. Okay, well, I don't have a choice. I've got to go to the activity rally Volkswagen Polo rally results. Or am I supposed to press back? When you're ready, ah. accept it to launch the race. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hang on, can we go to the menu? No. I need to... Well, we'll see how it goes. If there's one thing that defines V Rally Cross, it's show. The tracks are closed, short, and offer a range of sensations. And not to forget extremely edgy opponents who won't do you any favours. During the race, each competitor must go through the joker lap. It must be taken at the right time to overtake your opponents. You have to have a sense of strategy in V Rally Cross. <laughs> v Rally Cross. You can't spell soil without con. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there, Wabbit. Welcome, welcome guys that are joining us. Hey Rari Sagari. That's an awesome name. Bit of a bit of anime in your icon there. Can Nissan Salvia class extreme can it class in V? I don't know. I don't know these. We asking. Hey Tim, asking these complicated questions here. 
The next stage will take place in the heart of the English countryside. Oh, off to England. Be prepared, as a different rally discipline awaits you. What, what's the heart? I'll explain that to you in greater detail. It's like Silverstone or something. AI level. What? This comes out tomorrow. We're early accessing it. Got a, a nice little press key. Hey, uh, celeb per person. <laughs> Pearson. Caleb. Caleb. Oh, it's Le Leiden Hill. Okay, so what's this AI level? This setting allows AI difficulty level to be adjusted. Okay, well, we'll just start race. The V Rally Cross takes place on short, closed circuits that combine tarmac and dirt tracks. I think I might get Don't the new Forza Horizon. It did, it did look like it might actually be quite fun. A time penalty. One last thing. Watch out for your competitors' cars. They may drive a little aggressively. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Oh, here we go, heartbeat! Ah, oh, we're off. Oh, we're going to go six gears. Oops, Daisy. Okay, handbrake is circle. I'm going to get my joker done. Ah. I think I prefer the uh, chase cam in this. Woo! Oh, we're off! Well, we've got a lot of lens flare going on here. Michael Bay directed this game. Oh, no. JJ Abrams directed this game. Sorry, guys. Wrong director. This car's got extreme acceleration. Lots of grip. <laughs> this is... I'm, I'm enjoying the handling so far. Frame rate's a bit slow. It looks like it's running at like 30 FPS. It's a shame. But it's smooth. Like it's consistent 30 FPS. I think I need to turn the AI difficulty up. Chuck it in. Whoa, shortcut. VR conf no, VR. I don't think there's going to be any VR for this. Whoa, there's a wall. Use that wall to turn. Oh, no, we got stuck in a slot. Okay, that's the limit. Oh, dear. But luckily, we've got a little bit of a gap on the AI. And now it's gone. <laughs> AI are set to super slow to start with. <laughs> You're taking the joke, even if you don't want to. Let's turn the AI up a bit. Whoa. A massive roast. Use the water turn again. My God, <laughs> the lighting in this is like I'm on mushrooms or something. No seventh place. Obviously broken. I'm on playing on PlayStation 4, yeah. It's not out on PC till like the 24th. It's out tomorrow on the PlayStation 4. Whoa! I'm sure I've done the Joker. Chuck it in. Oh, fireworks. Newbie. Look at that. We won easy. I need to turn the difficulty up. That was way too easy, guys. Remember playing V Rally to death back in the day? Yeah, this doesn't seem. The last V Rally I played was on my Sony Ericsson phone. <laughs> and the. Uh... Was it on the Dreamcast or was it on the PlayStation 1? Uh, and there was an arcade version. That was the last time I played V-Rally. It was a long time ago. Tarek, come up. Dear God. Tarek, come. Hmm, Tarek, 
Come hem dovic. Come hem the dick. Come come hem the dick. Come hem the dick. Oh god. I'm trying. Try Your name is harder than this game. Sega Oh maybe it was on the Sega Saturn. You're right. Right, let's continue. I need to turn the uh, difficulty up. Prize, we've got some money. This is all nice. You can stop now. I'm sorry, I'm trying. What an eventful race. Uh, Each oh. time you finish a stage, you'll earn money depending on your finishing okay. position. It's all nice and simple. The closer you are to first place, the more money you'll money. earn. Money. And earning more money means you can participate in a greater number of stages or more prestigious stages. You'll also have to pay an entry fee to participate in some races. Now let's find you a car. Open the dealer panel to see the vehicles for sale. Oh, we're getting a car. Nice. Choose wisely. Your car will determine the race categories you can participate in. <laughs> That's true, Wabbit. D didn't you know that losing's bad? I'm glad she told me. She has a really... Her voice isn't actually annoying, bizarrely. I, I think I'm falling in love with the, uh, with the woman in this. She's got a nice accent. Here are the vehicles available for sale. Take a look. She sounds kind of serious, but not. She she sounds kind of serious, but laid back. She's got a nice she's got a nice accent. Big Ben of Pig. It makes a change. Normally, these voicey people that do tell you what to do in games are annoying. I I'm quite I'm liking this lady. I think we'd get along in real life. Which car am I buying, guys? This is nice so far. I mean, I'm I'm getting the, the arcade game vibe to this more than a you know simulator. The lighting's a bit over the top, but uh, I'm the handling felt. Intuitive for me. Uh, hello, Royori San. Hello, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the chat room. Annoying. I know she's Heath. Leave my V Rally 4 girlfriend alone. You will not talk bad about her. Hey, is he? Get the mini, the escort, Croatia. Oh, whereabouts, sir? Uh... Tarek, whereabouts in Croatia are you? I love Croatia. I've only been to like three towns in Croatia, but uh, and along the top part of the coast. But I like Croatia. All hail Croatia! Really nice place, guys. If you go, if you want to, if you're looking to book a holiday, and uh, Croatia's the place to go to. I'm telling you, really nice. Everyone's really uh, super friendly there as well. What am I going for, guys? The Mini, the Renault, or the Lancia? I think the Mini's the obvious choice. It's got bloody... It's got luggage. Oh, no, it's got tyres on top. I thought they were, that was luggage. Hey, Robert Tunguru! Mini. I've got to go for the Mini, guys. I don't even fit in this car in real life. I've got, I've got to go for the Mini. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to go for the Mini. I've got to go for the Mini. No testing. I've got to go for the Mini. Yeah, minis. Well, I'm sorry, I've got to go for the mini. Are you sure you you want to buy? Yes. I'm rich. I've I've, got, I've driven one car. And I've been given a mini. It's amazing. Great choice. You'll now be able to see all the cars that you own in your HQ. I've got. Uh, okay. I don't think this number plate's going to pass in the UK though. V Rally Four stops you getting arrested though. Well, I wasn't paying attention to my to my girlfriend there. Okay, back. What have I done wrong here? I've got myself lost already. There it oh, is. There we go. Here we go. It may not have the best performance. Oh, oh there it but is. It's a great <laughs> car to start out with. It would appear that a sponsor has noticed your performance. Well done. Uh, you might be able to get your first contract. Return to HQ to see the offer. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that, guys! Racing green with the yellow. It's like a it's Lotus Type Twenty Five <laughs> Mini. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear the lotus mini that's quite nice though i'd like to replace the tires for luggage i know that's what i thought jf welcome to the stream i thought they were nice i thought they were luggage and i thought it was nice luggage right because everything's very shiny in this game someone's gone a bit overboard with the pp effects info board what's that about Oh, we've got the specs, four gears. Okay, that's all good. Uh, 
I do I have to go to I was not paying attention. Activity hub. Here's the contract. Uh, info board. This is a good deal. Sign it and you'll have your first sponsor. I feel like this woman's leading me astray. I don't feel like I have much choice in this relationship. She's just telling me what to do. But she sounds she sounds sexy and uh, she seems to know what she's talking about. So I'm just going to go along with what she says. This seems like a good contract. Let's not read it. Constructor contracts can make you a lot of money. Oh. But you'll have to hit your objectives. Don't forget, you need <laughs> to use Beans a car from Minnie. the constructor that offered the contract when working on these objectives. Well, okay. Do you confirm the acceptance of this new contract? Perfect. Signed. Let's return to the activity hub to see what new events you can take part in. Okay. Japan. Well, hang on. We've, we, For some reason, we can only just about afford a, a vintage mini, but we can take that mini on a plane to Japan. It's only going to cost three times the price of the car. Sounds like a female Matt Malone. Well, that, you know, nothing's more arousing than a female Matt Malone other than the male Matt Malone. You do not have a car that's suitable for this mode. What? But I just bought I bought a car that I can't use. Apparently I'm using this car. Hang on a minute. Why did it let me buy the mini if I can't actually use it in anything? I can't afford this car. Hang on, I think I've, I've spotted a game design issue with this. Oh, I can't afford to travel. It makes sense. Why did it let me buy the Mini when I can't... <laughs> I, can't I can't use it in the first event. What is wrong with games designers these days? Come on. I mean, I've probably just been special. There's probably something I need to push. Radic, go to the info board. Well, what can I do then? Why can't I just have cars and unlock them? Why do I have to buy stuff with money? I'm, am I li am I genuinely stuck? <laughs> I'm stuck in the menu. Did I do something wrong? What? What have I? Done? What have I done wrong? Oh. <laughs> Oh, hang on, hang on. I can do activities. Let's do this one. No, we did that. That was, that was a tutorial. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't, I can't continue the game. No, I haven't got a car. I can't do this. Activity helps flash in. Can't do that. And this says I have <laughs> You have a car. I'm stuck. Oh well this is a hard game, guys. Do I have to do some more maybe I have to do uh, repeat the previous event to earn some more money? I could turn the AI difficulty up. Oh dear guys, come on. Did they test this? What is that about? So I go back to the activity hub. Create another profile. No, I'm going through with this. I'm not creating another profile. Right, if I do... Do this again. I oh, know, I can't. That's just... That doesn't let me do it again. That just lets me see my results. Press and hold no. Maybe I need to sell my car. <laughs> I'm going to lose money. Right. Confirm. No, I did that. I have to go to the dealer to get another car. Or do I have to buy this one? I could do the technical sheet, but I can't buy it. <laughs> no, I press no. Look, look, you don't believe me. Look. Activity hub. I'm pressing confirm. Oh, no. Oh, bloody. My computer's uh, chat room's gone. Hang on. No looking at my password, boys. Ah, oh dear. I need to... It's me with my power saving. Right. Look. Look. 
X. Yeah? Confirm. You do not have a car suitable for this game mode. Press circle to not go to the dealer. And it goes back to the menu. Press X and then press yes. And it takes me to the dealer where I can't buy the car. Well, at this point in time, probably not worth buying because apparently if you buy the mini at the start of the game, you can't play the game. <laughs> Oh, come on. This is on the PlayStation 4. This is no, there's no excuse. We can't, you can't even, this isn't even on PC yet. This is on PlayStation 4. So what do I do? Do I have to start again? Can I upgrade the car to <laughs> There has to be something. What do I need to do? I can't upgrade. Uh, I can't go up here. The upgrade menu's blocked. Well, JF, this this game does not have a tic tac livery BMW, so it's never going to be as good as Race Room. I I didn't buy it; it's not out yet. This is a this is a press account. So, uh, well, what do I do? This comes out tomorrow, so I assume this is like a final version of the game. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> I've been defeated by another game. I I, don't, I can't game anymore, guys. I hope this is just me being stupid. Where can I earn more money? I'll go to the main menu. Oh, no. It looks like I'm real for engine. What if I do a quick game? See what happens here. Oh, look, this has loads of stuff on it. So what's this about? Let's go to Detroit. Put on hard. Okay. Do I still get money in this mode? Maybe I do. Look at this. Confirm. It's nice that you can look around the car whilst it's loading the menu. I, I quite like that with new games, how you, you get to be able to look around things before you actually uh, go into it. It's kind of hides the loading times. What is this? Extreme Karna. Maybe I get money from this and I can buy a car and continue my career. What a monster. Oh, heartbeat. I may have forgot to shift gear there. Whoa, it. Oh, there's a wall. Right, hang on. Let's restart that. It's, this is grippy. Jim Jim Carner. What's that echo, guys? Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on. Whoa, cleared him. Go, go, go. Whoa! Hold that slide. This car doesn't drive like a front wheel drive car. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. No. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, learning the controls here. VTEC kicked in. This is a bloody maze. Like a quadcopter track. Someone needs to put this in the set of course. That's good. Whoa! What? <laughs> That's not safe.
Oh, I was trying to. I was trying to do two loops. I want. Sorry. It's a bit of a dangerous race circuit. This. That's probably a good tip, JF. I I heard that uh, Sector Three gives out press accounts to bad drivers. These developers need to learn what they're doing. Oh, come on. I've got to do another lap. Three laps, okay. I know where we're going now. Oh, there's a wall. <laughs> I know where we're going. Promptly draws into a big steel column. It's quite grippy, the, uh, the physics they've gone with. Yeah, the worse driving you get, the bigger the channel becomes. It's quite handy that it works out that way. I'm going to slowly forget how to use uh, pedals, and then we'll we'll be like a, we'll have a million subscribers. Ah, oh, twice in a row, guys. No, we pulled it off. You're not that bad, JF. I mean, you're not as good as uh, Joel Gortner. Let's 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 be honest here. But who is? Who has the graphics combined with the driving talent of Gort of Jorg? Or as Google? Oh my God! Who put that wall there? There is an in-car view, but I can't see where I'm going. So. Ah, oh, who put that? <laughs> Bloody spindles, guys! Uh, you can play it with a wheel. I'll try that later, I think. It, it seems to me that it's more of an arcade game. Though it's got... It seems to have nice depth to the handling. To be honest, the, the frame rate's too low to really bother with this damn wheel. It is, you can see it's like 30 FPS. I feel like I'm playing after drinking or something. Come on. Let's get one clean lap in here. Oh, that's better. I am Ken... Ken blocked you on Facebook. Ow! Sorry, I'm using the water to help me go faster. I got a penalty for that. Smooth. See how I really, really neatly did that corner. God, this guy can't. Oh, look at that artwork. That's nice. Good job, art team. Cute woman on the wall. So, why well, is a tense in here? Oh, I know what this level is. This is. Uh, this is uh, London. This is London. <laughs> this is post-Brexit London. Makes sense now. Oh, shortcut. Test out the rocks. Oh, okay. We've, we've been... <laughs> we've, we've beached the car. Oh, no. Go. That we go. Off again. Smooth. Whoa, that... My God, they filled them with concrete. We go. Whoop. Ah! <laughs> the slow motion finish, despite us going over the finish line at two miles an hour. Oh, look, the other guy didn't finish. Oh, that's because I came last. <clears throat> Do I get money for that, though? Was that, was that all for nothing? Hey, Ross uh, Firefield, we will do. Well... I didn't get any money for that, probably because I didn't do it. So I can't progress my career. Mount Rena. What events are these? Oh, I want to do rally events. Okay, let's try this.
Clear sky, clear sky, 23. Oh, it's the time of day, okay. Okay, let's try that again. See if we get money if we do all right. Hey, Mr. Ghost. Um, yeah. How's the stream? I think, uh, I don't know. You, you'll, you'll be the judge of that. I'm going to try the Volkswagen Golf GTI. So why do I need to bother buying cars in the other career mode if I can just play through this? Look at that, guys. That's a that's a car. Look at it, taking the carpets out and everything. Look at these camera angles. Uh, well, the verdict so far is I can't progress through the game menu because it let me buy a car that's not good enough to enter the one event that is available. So uh, that's that's kind of cramping my verdict style at the moment. It's like being on one of those roller coasters at the, the a carny ride. Wee woo wee woo wee. Uh, this this is good fun. Right, let's start going. I need to turn them. There's too much motion blur. And there's too much uh, brightness. Pixmo, did he say anything about the handling? Dude, calm your language down. This is this is a polite channel. Let's. What would your mother say to you using the using such language? Be polite, dude. You could, you could, uh, you could be rude, but you got to be creative about it. And left six short thirty. Crest. What view do you want me, John W? Uh, the, the frame rate's really low, so uh, it's like thirty FPS. So it makes it hard to drive for the first person. Short narrows don't cut, and kinks for two hundred. Arrows and left five long. There you go. Oh my god, it's Pod Racer. And left four, keep right. Whoa, and that left four. Rock was close to my face. And left four short, don't cut. Into kinks for 200. Oh, it's hand gliders. What are they doing? And break right one. And keep middle right four. Into left four. Keep right. Yeah, the, the frame and rate is... Break left one open. Shoot, I'm on a normal PlayStation, not the PlayStation Plus Pro, whatever it's called. But the frame right rate's four, uh, short, quite low. Left four. Yeah, 30 FPS. Into right four, short 50. Left six open. I think this into game makes right more sense to play short, from... Left three, into right four, like third short. person. And right three short in the left four opens. Whoops. Caution crest in the right three. I don't think so. And given that it's not long given that it's only running at 30 FPS in its normal mode. In the right three short keep in. I don't think it'll have and VR. Right four short keep in 30. And left four narrows over crest into kinks for 50. Oh, I got, got hooked on something there. I know the water does look nice. It does look like it would be nice and to swim right in. 530. Caution left five tighten. Into right four, keep in. And right four. Suspension is well bumpy. Left five long, 100. Left four short 100. It's a rally car, it's meant to go off road. Kings for 100. Yeah, I, I think it just makes more sense to play this for third person. And left six short. Left four over jump maybe. Right 530. And left six tightens. And left five tightens. In the right four and kinks for 50. That's good, you've got to stand on the rock so if the car crashes into you, you're safe. Clever spectators. Open, keep right. And keep right in the left four. And right six tightens to three. Break right in the 130. And left 330. It's got it's got nice uh, right nice handling. Short in the left three. 
I'm not sure if I'd describe it as, uh, you know, it's not it's not Dirt Rally or Richard Burns Rally, <laughs> but it's got nice depth to it, especially with the seems to control nicely with the gamepad. You do have to work with the car's weight and stuff. Over the bumps. Yeah, probably, yeah. Uh, Smiler. I want to play through the single player. Oh, look at the railing physics. And left four. Into right four. In the left three short and right six short. Whoa. Into left four short. 100. And the finish. What result do we get? Uh, I don't think it's trying to be dead. It too. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I think he's trying to be saying what last. They must have been absolutely keen in it then on the hard setting. I you don't get any money for doing these. Wow, the hard setting's bloody hard. <laughs> you have to be absolutely smashing it. But I mean, I so I can't do the single player. What an eventful race. Each time you finish a stage, you'll earn money depending on your finishing position. The closer you are to first place, the more money you'll earn. And earning more money means you can participate in a greater number of stages or more prestigious stages. That's, you'll also that's have to pay gaming. an entry fee to participate in some races. Now let's find you a car. Oh, Open I'm gone. the dealer panel to see the vehicles for sale. She forgot. She forgot what I bought last time. I want to go to the dealers. Choose wisely. Your car will determine okay. the race categories you can participate in. Here no, I didn't get money for it. For sale. Take a look. I have to not buy the Mini. I've got to buy this uh, Lancia, whatever. But it's Rally Category One. These are all Rally Category One, so it must just be that. Must just be broken. Well, let's buy the Lancia and see if that that helps. It will only allow you to access rally activities. It will only allow you to access rally activities. So, oh, I didn't mean to buy it. You'll now be able to see all the cars that you own in your HQ. <laughs> Just bought the Ford Escort by accident. Well, it was the most expensive one I could buy. Okay. There it is. It may not have the best performance, but it's a great car to start out with. It would appear that a sponsor has noticed your performance. Well done. You might be able to get your first. I'll go get the one from the rally cross Return section. To HQ to see the offer. <laughs> I can't. Here's the contract. This is a good deal. Well, maybe. They, well, we'll see. We'll see if this works. Sponsor. There's another store. Okay. Constructor contracts can make you a lot of perfect. Well, this should still Let's work though. To the activity hub to see what new events you can take part Why in. does it allow me to do that, but not take part in that? And then I can't do that because it's locked. So what are you supposed to do? If you buy that car, you're done. Uh, yeah, so now I have to quit out of this again. It, will un it won't have saved it, and we'll try and buy a different car. Yeah, Videx, but why would you have it in the game so that you can buy a car that has absolutely nothing that you can use? It doesn't make any sense, because you then, if you do buy it, why, how would, why would you know that there's not going to be any events for the car that you've bought? At the very beginning of the game. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. What an eventful race. 
Each time you stage, I'm going off this woman now. We, <laughs> we, I'm going to have to... We're falling out here. Place, the more money you'll earn. And earning more money means you can participate in a greater number of stages or more prestigious stages. Did you guys know this? You'll also have to pay an entry fee to participate in some races. Hey, I'm a foreign. <laughs> Open the dealer panel to see the vehicles. Oh, I'm opening the dealer panel again. Right. Choose wisely. Your car will determine the race categories you can participate We've in. We've got to get the Rallycross one, because even though this is V-Rally, we have to buy a V-Rallycross car. Here are the vehicles car. available for sale. Take a look. Oh, we can only buy this. Okay, so we've got a choice between V-Rally, which that's what we bought from last time, wasn't it? We bought from this one last time, and that means that we can't progress through the game. So... We're going to buy from this one this time. And if it still doesn't work. Look, you, you'll only be able to take... Okay. Great choice. You'll now be able to see all the cars that you own in your HQ. <laughs> she said she's riding. There it is. It may not I like how she always says where it is before the car's loaded in. it's a great car to start out with. It would appear that a sponsor has noticed your performance. Well done. You might be able to get your first contract. Return to HQ to see the offer. Oh dear. Here's the contract. This Ren is a good it seems deal. like the contracts. Sign it and you'll have your first sponsor. <laughs> the contracts are all <laughs> whoever whichever car you buy you get the contract with, which is uh, rather convenient. Let's return to the activity hub to see what new events you can take part in. Ah, oh, finally, I can progress, guys. We did it. We did it. Oh, what a, what a journey. What a journey. Oh, my God. That's, this is the hardest first part of a game I've ever played. R really difficult. <laughs> we did it. Oh, what a game, guys. They might want to fix that. I'm going to put the AI to 77. First day to complete. Oh, we're in Japan. Here we go. I've carried my car by hand because I've run out of money. Why is it just straight to the final? Here we go, guys. Heart pound in action. Oh, this car's a bit sluggish. Oh, look at these lines. Oh, the AI's too easy again. Oh, we get stuck in the slide. I need to uh, turn the AI up even harder. It's weird. When I put them in hard on the other part of the game, they were, like, bloody hard. Oh, this, this car trips over itself. Oh, cherry blossom. Shortcut. Come on. Oh, they're caught up with me. What was I saying about me too easy? Let's take the Joker. It's really easy to get stuck in oversteer in this car. Ow. <laughs> Go on. You have to modulate the throttle, which is quite nice. Like this, there is subtlety to the handling in this. And you definitely notice the difference between the tarmac grip and the dirt grip. Ow! Oh! Oh, ho bit of contact. Oh, come on. 
one. This car's really floaty. Hook it up. Six laps of this. Try and get a good lap, a uh, good gap. Oh, look at that corner in. Uh, gravel. I haven't played gravel. So I can't answer that question. It feels... I don't know. If, if, it's hard to describe. I don't think it's uh, necessarily... Re you know, it's not, it's not realistic. It's got good depth to it though. I'd say it's arcade but with good depth. I, I don't like just saying arcade. It doesn't seem to really describe anything. It's like any time a game's not trying to be a sim, it's like, oh it's arcade. It's like, well that doesn't help anyone, does it? It's got good car handling, but I wouldn't describe it as you know, it's, it's it seems as if it's designed around a gamepad. Uh, but I mean the frame rate is 30 FPS I, uh, it makes I'm so used to playing at 60 plus FPS that I mean it's also I think it's got V-Sync on it as well so I just couldn't if personally I, I can't if a game's not got above 60 FPS and hasn't got the ability to turn V-Sync off then I'm not going to be able to play it as a simulator because you, you just don't have that response in the input so You can go first person, yeah. There we go. It's got a cockpit view as well. It's got nice sound. I'd imagine if they uh, if they can fix the frame rate, if the frame rate increases, or if the PC version has 60 FPS, then I imagine it'd be quite fun to play with this steering wheel. Ah, oh, oh gravel. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking of a different game when you said gravel. Yeah, this is a lot better than gravel. Wait, this is way more realistic than gravel. Yeah, sorry. Brain was turned off. You forget these things. When you, when you do uh, when you do five plus hours of live streaming every day, your brain just turns to mush. I wouldn't listen to anything I say. It probably doesn't make any sense. It's all, it's all nonsense. Oh, no. Put that tree there. What are you talking about, the raving beast? In what sense? Stop. If you're going to swear, be creative about it. Don't just type stuff. It's, you know, it's be a bit more creative with your swearing, dude. Actually explain what you're saying. If you've, got a, if you've got a point to make, make it. I don't think sim races are elitist. I think... I think what happens is... Driving simulators have amazing depth to them. And there's a lot of games that come out that say, oh, they're realistic. And they're not, in the slightest. And they, and they don't have the depth to them. I think most sim racers I know, every, well, every sim racer I know, loves proper arcade games. What they don't like are um, bad, effectively bad arcade games that are also bad simulators. As it happens though, this has really enjoyable uh, gamepad handling. It's immediately intuitive, the cars are fun to slide around, I'm having to modulate the brake and throttle in a satisfying way. It's quite good. It's a direct drive pad.
He's using a wheel, but his, his inputs are very subtle. I'm using the old gamey pad. Hang on! I won that! Guys, where was... How come there was one person that was... How come his lap time... <laughs> how come his lap time was... His race time was 6 minutes 52? <laughs> Bogdanov... Bogdanov strikes. Oh, Bronslava Bogdanov. Oh, bloody Bogdanov. <laughs> I did do a joker lap. I thought I did. Oh, Bogdanov. Oh, Brosnilava Bogdanov. <laughs> well, that's it. You've got to watch out for Mr. Bogdanov. Ah, uh, guys. Well, we've learnt about Bogdanov now. We've got to watch out. Nice race. You put up a good fight. Now that you're competing in your own car, you're also going to have to pay for your own repair costs. But so why did their first place AI was clearly on like some rubber band mission? Because all the other AI were like 10 seconds, 15 seconds behind us. You completed a contract. What? Constructor objective. New account has been created. Okay. As a driver just starting your career, you will not be alone in your journey. You'll start oh, working with friends. people who will help you manage your contracts, car, okay, full budget, house. and so on. <laughs> Recruitment? Oh, what is all this crap they put As in? As an agent, I oh, specialize all this... in rally cross. Right, guys. Let's just say I can all this stupid bloody quite easily. get cash all agent specialize in rally contract bollocks. Some are passionate about rally no! driving. And some what has happened to games? So different specializations are possible. Open the mechanic Just... channel for more information about your crew. Oh, God. I mean, I guess you want the mechanic to... But this is this is clearly not a simulator. So who... And why... They, this is blatantly just stolen this idea from Dirt Rally. Um, who cares about this shit? Just, just race, unlock cars, unlock events, travel the world, have some multiplayer. That's fun. It's like it doesn't realise it's an arcade game. Well, this has happened on all console games. It's like someone in the boardroom has gone, this is a good idea. Your mechanic crew will be in charge of repairing your car. The more qualified they are... This is purely... Are, uh, this is purely needs. stolen but from remember, Dirt Rally. If your workforce theft. is more qualified, they will ask for a <laughs> design theft. So keep an eye on costs when oh, you're thinking dear. of recruiting a veteran mechanic. You can also recruit... Emily Jones! Guys, Open Emily Jones in chat from Japan. more about this. We were just driving around. Uh, we were just driving around Japan, Emily Jones. How's it going? This is hardcore sim for sure. Well, I'm I'm a replacing. I'm a recruiting. No new recruits available. Can't sack her. We good. Well, I wasn't paying attention. I got distracted by Emily. I got to research my crew. Engineers are in charge of developing higher performance components. It's very Japanese. You will need them to tune and enhance the mechanical performance of your car. P cars didn't just have like this. The mechanics. If you recruit more qualified engineers, <laughs> their salaries will obviously go oh, up. I don't care so about any of this. Mind that you will have a larger investment to take care what? of. What? A new recruit has just become available. What makes games go companies for more think that the gamers are going to be interested in contracts recruiting staff for the race team? How is that fun? Who who came up with this idea that this component of racing in an arcade game is fun? Do this in something that's like F1 2018 is fine to have stuff like that. Maybe in Dirt Rally, but can't we just unlock cars and tracks and drive and race and have fun? I guess I've got to pay. I guess this pays it for a, this gives a UI designer a job. I, w I wasn't paying any attention here. Congratulations. What's going on? What's I wasn't paying attention. I've got to do this. God. Are you sure? Yes. Of course. The performance of your car is very closely connected to the experience I know. Well, the, the, she's got a nice race. accent, this woman. This means that if you want to hire better personnel, you'll have to check offers regularly. I know, Mushy Gaming. Know this is what I think. It, but just a little reminder. Hiring mechanics and engineers comes with a cost. <sighs> you'll have to pay their salaries at the end of the week. Paying salaries? That's a really fun game mechanic, isn't it? I mean, okay, it, it isn't something like Euro Truck Simulator, but... What happened to racing games, guys? What happened to them? 
What's going on here? Right, we've done Japan. Now, can we do this event? Ah, dear. If you have noticed that you haven't Hi, been Roger. able to control your car exactly as you would have liked, or that it felt rather harsh over the curbs, or oversteered a bit too much, you can change its settings to suit your driving <laughs> style better. Have a look at the settings options to adjust your vehicle and how it drives. Okay. I'm going to put AI to 80. Car settings. Oh, we can upgrade bits of the car. Gearbox ratio, clearance. Uh, they put the options in there, but if you're playing with the gamepad, why bother? <laughs> that vehicle looks like a Hot Wheels car. Emily Jones, are you trying to say that my car is of low quality because I'm deeply offended? I saved up a whole race to buy this car, and it was the only car they had at the dealership. And this car is going to win races, so you better you better take back what you're saying. Emily Jones is throwing out the uh, she's throwing out the beef. Oh, I missed the start of the race. JJ Abrams strikes again. Whoa, confetti! We got married. Please have, some, please have some more grip. That's the Joker. Done and dusted. Walt! Wall him! Ah, <laughs> oh, now I lost places just from trying to wall the AI. Gonna use the car in front as a brake. Ah, oh, thank you. Skill overtake, guys. Pure technique, that. Next level. I learned that from my racing. That uh, that overtake was brought to you by Emily Jones in chat. Check out Emily Jones on Twitch if you want to learn how to do overtakes like that. It's all about being subtle. AI has some uh, rubber bandy stuff going on. We'll use him as a break. Here we go. Thank you. Oh, I'm doing the joke of my accident. Bugger. Oh, I've spun the car. Oh, God, this... Oh, no. Right, I've got to restart. <laughs> I'm not allowed to. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Ah, oh, I'm gonna put my headlights on. Ah, oh, it's all over, guys. Well, it was nice whilst it lasted. Bloody hell! Why can't I restart? Serious business. Uh, it runs at 30 FPS, so there's no real point in using a wheel, in my opinion. I kind of need 60 FPS to use the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do the Joker again. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that's nice easy. Oh dear. Well, the AI have gone. I don't know what to do here. I can't restart the race. So even though I've definitely lost this, I still have to do like two more laps. For some reason, there's no restart option. Why, I don't know. IGN, 10 out of 10. Oh, Emily Jones off to bed. Um, good night. Hope you don't uh, get blown away in a typhoon. 
I assume the Typhoon's passed now. It's pretty brutal for southern Japan. I guess you're on the internet, though, so I can only assume that you did not flood. Oh, no, not the Joker again. Best controller is the Thrustmaster flight stick. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, confetti must be must be about to finish the race. Okay. That was uh, that was depressing. Can I replay it? Does replay play the replay? Nothing beats the D-pad. One week has passed, and like every other week, you have to pay your crew. <laughs> Why? I'm going to default on my crew payment. They can sue me. I've not got any money, so it's fine. Good luck suing me. We'll just claim bankruptcy and, and open up a new business. They, they, they'll, they, won't, they won't get us. Total salary. Oh, we're, we're barely paying them. We've got like two staff. And we're, oh, it's a week. Okay, fair enough. But still, we're not paying them that much. I've unlocked Let's an upgrade. Let's return to the activity hub to see what new events you can take uh... part in. What? Why all this crap? We just don't need it. Financial report. <laughs> What's happened to games, guys? Uh. Okay, well, let's do another event. Just do China. Right, I'm going to stick in third-person view. And... Uh, before last game is an accountant. In championship or an event with several races, you have to choose your AI level before the activity. After, you won't be able to change it anymore. Okay. Well, the AI seemed all right in that previous one. Good for you, the raven, ravenous beast. I don't even know who Alex is, but good for you. It's amazing how the internet works. You can literally watch whatever you want. Tax <laughs> return simulator. Paul Beatty. My favourite thing about arcade racing games is reading financial reports and managing pay slips. I know, I'm, I'm surprised it's not in more games. Expectations are fairly low. Okay. Oh, we seem to be against a lot of uh, nice Hondas here. He's sandwiched. Oh, it seems to be a lot faster than these guys. That's nice. Oh my god. Well, it's nice that they can drive into you without you just crashing. Let's put headlights on for safety in the middle of the day. Get the Joker over and done with. Uh, I'd get Wreckfest. Whoa, that's nice. What's he doing? That's, that's slowly illegal. A nice little detail there. Oh, his car's stuck on top of mine. Look how big his car is. Here come the rubber bands. God, they're just smashing my car up. I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Whoa, he's taking out the... Uh... 
two can play that game. <laughs> My car's going to be recycled by the end of this. The car has a propensity to get stuck in oversteer if you're not careful, which is quite frustrating. <laughs> the plane was paid off by the AI. I tried to take out the AI, but it backfired. Goodbye. Ah, oh, dear. It's slaughtered it. There's meant to be a, a new uh, V rally, uh, V rally, new destruction derby game coming out. I think that'd be cool. But I mean, Wreckfest is pretty damn awesome as a destruction derby game. Oh god! Oh god! Last again. Well, it seems like you either absolutely destroy the AI, but then they've got one or two AI that are really fast. You make one mistake, and you're in trouble. Hey, let's come, Mama. I've done it again. The... I... I didn't... Do I get a reset button? Have that. Get out of the way. restart this one I'm doing this one again <laughs> we're doing this one again right we got this guys okay I messed that up <laughs> we're doing this again hey Dan Domingo this is on uh, PlayStation 4 I'm not trying my player right we got this let's see if they do the rubber banding at the start Yeah, it's really tricky with the rear of the car and the downhill. You're going downhill and uh, the back's already coming out of it. Might just be this car. The float your rear. There's the plane again. Can't complain about aeroplanes. All games need aeroplanes flying into on them. Okay, so it seems like there's always... The way they program the AI is that you have a bunch of them that are whatever difficulty that, that you set it at, and then you always have one that absolutely smashes it and just follows you regardless of how good you are 
That's the impression I'm getting. Look at these guys follow me right on my tail, waiting for me to make a mistake. Oh my god, the frame rate so low if you go to rear view and it does a rotation you're completely disorientated oh he's right on me look at that I'm, I'm calling catch up we've got more rubber banding than a post office in this Oh, I bounced off it. That was handy. <laughs> Thought he was going to be race over there. Thing is. Intuitively, I want to turn the difficulty up, so I'm racing with the other guys that are in the race. But I know all that will mean is if I make one more, if I make a little mistake, it will just be more frustrating. I should put the difficulty on max and see what it's like with the rally cross, if, if, if that makes them all faster. Same as VHS. I say you cut the course. How tight that was. Oh, is this the uh, final lap here? Woo. Oh, yeah, thanks for clicking the like button, everyone that does. Appreciate the like button clicks. Oh, we won. We won. Where's Mr... Oh, we've got different drivers in this. Okay. We've got to do another race. Why am I doing another race? Let's put on 100% difficulty. I just finished that. Why have I got to do it again? <laughs> what? What is going on in this game? It's like a second event or something. <laughs> Pushing this guy off the circuit. Okay, AI 100. Hey, Michael Fontum, up into the chat room. Oh, it's not the final. Okay, fair enough. I was only... What confused me is that it said I can't change the AI. And I just did. It's 
the final countdown. Oh, we're getting good at the handling. So the AI is on 100, but then it, and maybe it hasn't actually changed it. Seems to be exactly the same. I don't know. I, th I think he's got rally stages, but when I bought the rally car, it wouldn't let me continue, so we're having to do this for now. It had a uh, rally stuff at the beginning. Oh, I've done it again. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just drove straight into me. We'll catch back up now. This is the this is the only challenge in this game. It seems to be that if you make one mistake, you are pickled. Car's a midget. Yeah, I couldn't afford. I couldn't afford a tall car. I had to get a short one. Catch him back up. We were catching back up. <laughs> Guys, a break. Ah, oh, that was a nice overtake. I was trying to crash into him, but it we actually did a nice pass. Ah, oh, what's he doing? Take him out into the wall. You go. Sweet pass. There's a plane flying around in front of us. Look. He's lost. It's nice when the AI driving towards for you. You're right, first player. Oh, no. I thought I'd just demonstrate driving into a wall as well. Stop sliding sooner than you would think based off its momentum. So you kind of, it's actually got, though it is sliding and sloppy, it's actually relatively tight as, uh, where the grip comes back quickly. Whew! Got, we got away. Why do, what's happened there? I did the, why is that happening? Guys, what did I do to get the penalty? How does that work? I was definitely in front there. 
Is there a bug? There must be a bug in this game that you randomly have a person that gets in front of you and is like 10 laps ahead. Right, let's watch the replay. There was another guy in the race. <laughs> well, where did this guy actually pass this? Well, because the way they balance the AI in this game is they have one AI that's ten times faster than everybody. I'm definitely in front there. I'm in front, guys. That is... I'm not... Okay. Okay, one, two... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. How many cars pass me here? One. Two. Three. Three cars pass me. Right. One, oh, no, no. One, no, no. This is how the game should be played from this video, it's awesome. One, two, oh, okay, so the third guy is just like bloody miles ahead. Because whoever, whoever's in first place in this game gets, is, is like 10 seconds faster. That's a bit stupid, I think. Why do they just have one AI that's massively quicker? Okay, I'll accept defeat, though. Wall of Muscle. Open the online tab to see the online special stages and races that are available. This is where you can compete against other players all over oh. the world in the event type of your choice. Okay. The more stages you win, the higher you'll rank in the league tables. If you have the talent, your reputation will grow and you will be recognized no, as a serious we're, we're, challenger we're, we're, in the driver yeah, community. The same thing happened in the other race well, and every race we've done. There's now. always like one AI driver that's ridiculously to fast. Get your career started. Good luck. Yeah, I know, Krovican. Well, right, let's try and do a, an online race. What's this about? Oh, I need to get a car. Hill climb. Uh, Braze Meyer, there's no point because it runs at 30 FPS, so it's practically impossible to play. With a wheel, there's no point. Well, no point for me. I, I need at least 60 FPS if I'm going to be trying to take it properly with a wheel. We're back in this car. We're always going in this car. Still need to work those muscles. Hey, Glenn Murray. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 
hang on a minute. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. So much for that. I need uh I need a cable. My controller's run out of power. That's decidedly not online. That's just against faster AI. Got an idea. Stream the controller charging. I plugged it in and it's just constantly telling me that the battery's low. It's like, well, I know it is because I've just plugged it in. Can't even compete against these cars. My controller's not working now because it's run out of battery. <laughs> the battery's low, guys. Oh dear. I've... Maybe this cable. Oh, it might just be this cable, actually. Just a rubbish cable. That would explain it. There we go. Rubbish cable. Oh no, come on. Oh, I feel like I'm being abused by a game here. <laughs> what is this? God. Well, I'm going to go find a cable. I'll be back in a second.
Hello. Hello. I had to, uh, I had to make a cheeky little sandwich there. Sorry. <laughs> I was flagging. I found a USB cable that hopefully works as well. Oh. It's sandwich time. <laughs> it's use up the brioche bun time. Hey, Gert Guzzy Hero. I think he's gone to the bus. It sounds like a good idea. I think I might have a roast dinner in the pub this weekend. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure about this game. Um, I don't think it's the type of thing I enjoy, so. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd describe it as bad, though. Definitely uh, much more enjoyable to play than, um, what, what was it, Gravel. Just been going for about an hour and a half. Using the uh, game controller. Well, Gravel was okay, but it's like the content felt really bland. Gamer muscles, gamer muscles, muscles. is so silly. Oh, what did it say? Full house gaming. Type what you type. What you put in your donation? My um, speaker is muted on the donation PC. Thanks, man. Type what you said. I think I might expect one to sleep. Hey, um, virtual reality racing. I was playing V Rally 4. Game of Muscle's silly face is so silly. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the donation, dude. Sorry it didn't uh, come up. No, I've not tried WRC7. I'll check it out. I'm a bit behind on my emails. Richard Pryor DVD. What? Stream going to plan. Hey, Euclid. Oh, look. I oh, know why have I got double. There we go. 
<laughs> Thank you for subscribing, dude. Welcome to the channel. Guys, if you're at Silverstone, look out for Virtual Reality Racing Club. <laughs> if you want to get to, if you want to get your bones shaked, um, I think it works with a wheel, but. It only runs at 30 FPS, so um, I don't think I'm going to bother. For me, you know, I've got basic requirements. <laughs> Maybe it is a bit snobby, but I don't think 60 FPS is a, is really, you know, like a big requirement. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's, it's not the 90s anymore. Hello, Valacrambia. We're going to do some more driving in a second. We just have to have a we have to have a little sandwich break. That's how it is. Hi, Tyrone Burns. <laughs> the video is of me eating. This is the the content we bring. I'm trying to eat in 30 FPS here. Almost ready. Sorry for the sandwich break. A man's got to eat. about what are you eating any good i'm hungry <laughs> it was just um i got those brioche burger buns from the burger making yesterday and uh, obviously it comes in packs of six so i just made some sandwiches out of them so i don't get this you've got these online events but they're not actually really online. I guess it's kind of your time is saved against other people. I don't know. Multiplayer. Let's have a look. Oh, it's not a split screen. That's nice. Hello, OAP Sim Racing. The big was good yesterday. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> I guess that, that'll probably be to do with it being a pre-release key. Um, I want to do some rally stages. 
Driving Test Canada, that sounds cool. I'm stuck with this. Uh... Oh, let's go for this BMW. Look at that. I like this little menu thing whilst it's loading. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for the ACC hype train. I'm all about the... Uh... The simulators. Simulators have ruined me. <laughs> oh, here we go. This looks like a level from Goldeneye or something. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Actually, can we turn off motion blur? Oh, we can turn the post processing off. That's good. No. Nope. That's all we've got is the motion blur, but it's something. Ah, oh, it's giving some, some options. That's better with the motion blur off. It runs a lot smoother. I'm not trying to wheel with it. I, I probably won't bother. better. Well, it's nice that it gives you camera position options. Okay. Let's restart that. <laughs> Quite floaty, the uh, handling. Quite a floaty feel to it. Hello, Mr. Name, I can't read. Welcome to the channel. Turn the soundtrack off so I don't get sued. Well, I hope that's the right way. <laughs> I don't know if it is. going. Is this just like a practice thing? I'm going back down now. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's just like a weird practice mode. Fun handling, you know, with the gamepad. It's 
It's on a PS4 counter debate. This is what Need for Speed games should handle like. Yeah, I think this, that's just a practice thing. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> was that just for like driving around for Lardy Da? I don't know. So what have we got available? I want to do some rally driving. Rally car. So if I buy a rally car, let's get the mini. Oh, how much do I need to buy this? I need another 10k. So. We could do the hill. I've already got that car. Oh, that's dealers. Activity. Right, what can I do? Rally cross, hill climb, Romania. Yes. Okay, right. Uh, I don't think so, Florox. I'm certainly not on the PlayStation 4. Hey, Scout. Welcome to everyone joining us. Thank you for uh, clicking the like button, everyone. really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I need to I need to get some more money to buy a rally car, Kev Edwards, and I'll do that next. Oh, hello, Luna Twist. What? Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that. This is nice. That's a really nice level. Yeah, the handling in this, the gamepad handling in this is spot on, you know. This is this is what I would like more arcade racing games to handle like. Sim racing 604. Hello. How's your head after I threw the steering wheel at it? Oh my god. to get the back end to come out. This is a hill climb car, so you can't expect that. Oh, I was looking, I was looking at the UI there. For some reason, the uh, when you turn left and right, the gear indicator moves around on the screen. Really annoying. I thought I was being drunk or something. Oh, what? Right, let's start that again. <laughs> That bollard's made out of concrete. I, s I don't mind it, Game Tech. I like to be in on the bonnet. I've moved it forwards because that's how I like it. And it, it gives you the option, which is nice. I've not tried it with a wheel. I think, yeah, wheel is supported with the game, but it seems to me to be more of a, a gamepad game. If you want to play it with a wheel, you can. Granny cam. Got to lean over that dash. in the 
valley there. This has really good gamepad handling mechanics, you know. Oh no! Oh, bugger me, same wall. <laughs> well, there goes, there goes the lap. We'll see what time we get. It does recenter in an odd way. No, it's not like dirt rally. The, uh, the arcade side on oh, it. Well, not arcade. Not it's not realistic handling. But for a gamepad, that's a, it's probably a good thing. I've not played WRC Seven. I told you, the, uh, the moving gear speed thing is bloody weird. Stage would be amazing in Richard Burns Rally. <laughs> it's so grippy, it's awesome. He <laughs> can break so late, and the, it is so grippy. It's like Trap Mania, well, it's not quite Trap Mania grip levels. <laughs> Trying to like so used to breaking sooner. Whoa! Trying to push it. Our co-driver's left the car. He doesn't trust me. What a line! <laughs> Shortcut. Right there. No, I don't think so, counter debate. I don't know what time we got. Oh, look at those wheels glowing. Oh, we, we aced it. Despite driving off into a wall, we aced it. Now I can buy my Mini. The handling is so... I, I don't like using the word arcade 
as I keep saying, I don't think it helps describe stuff. Um, it's nice. It's, I wouldn't say it's realistic. It's obviously not Mario Kart Arcade. I, I would like that. I really like the handling in this. I would like the handling in this to be what games like uh, Need for Speed and stuff handle like. Because it's, it's responsive and uh, like fun to, to move the cars around. Oh, hello. Why do you, I'm getting like double alerts here. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate that. Could someone else subscribe? <laughs> my, my notifications are broken. Right, I want to do rally. I've got to buy a rally car. We can finally buy the Mini Cooper with the with the um, tyres, but they're luggage. Yes, I want it. There seems to be plenty of cars in this. Right, now we can do a rally. V rally cross. Rally. Alright, so it was just bugged out not letting us do that. Because th we've just done that with the Mini. So it was just a bug at the start of the game where it thought that the Mini didn't qualify when actually it did. Thank you, Ken Kaufman. There you go. It does work now. I fixed it. Cheers for that. Yeah, I know what you mean, Anthony uh, Cessna. Like, if you've got a wheel, you kind of want to use it. My thing would just be that this doesn't have a... The frame rate is 30 FPS, uh, and it's kind of like, well... Why have... Why, like, play it with a wheel when the frame rate doesn't even work? About it? Like, because you can't... The whole point of a wheel is it gives you more finesse and subtlety and control, but if the frame rate's so low, it's like, well, you, you can't, you, it doesn't have that subtlety inherent to the basic visuals of the game. Also, I get the the, uh, the the grip and the general handling nature of this is very punchy, which seems to be more orientated to around a game controller. Because otherwise, it's like, it's like Forza's like that. If you try and play Forza with a wheel, you kind of have to wrench at the wheel to, <laughs> to drive it. Um, when you play it with a gamepad, you obviously can just turn the move the analog stick left and right. Well, in real life, I'm going to put this to 90. In real life, I don't even fit in this car. I could just about sit in it. My head like touches the ceiling. <laughs> oh, look at that. Fields. Beautiful. Japan Rally. Yeah, I mean, for most rally games, yeah, wheel, because it helps you get into a... I think a wheel makes you less likely to make mistakes. Mike McLaren, I have fun memories of creating some crazy tracks in V-Rally 2. Does this have a feature? I don't think so. Well, I'll have to look. Left for 30. Caution right for short. In the left, 330. Right 6. Oh, look at this level. And left 6 long. And left 5. In the hairpin right, long open. Okay. <laughs> this rally's a little bit understeery, guys. Let's bear that in mind. It's the, it's the luggage on top. Left for 30. Hey, serious high. It's back for more. Caution right for short. In the left, 330. Right six. Gotta chuck it in to get it around the and corner. Left six long. And left five in the hairpin right long open. Hairpin left. This car's a little bit sluggish. It's almost as if it's, uh, it's almost as if it's a seventies mini. Hedges have got individual leaves on them. Right four. Break hairpin left two hundred. Break hairpin right into left six. Tightens to four. In the 
Second to right, five, 100. Left four open. Right six, 100. Chicane left, short 30. And left Maximum five. gear! <laughs> Fourth gear! And left four into right four short. Top, top gear, guys. 50. Just using testing out the wall there. Left four, keeping 30. Left five. Yeah, that. What well, like with Samir? Right five long. Crest. 100 break, square right. Oh, look at that entry. Left four into right How many cam positions? <laughs> four, Sounds like something, uh, well, and I won't say. One, two, three, four. I think there's like eight camp positions. Chili Dog's got a real job. Hey, Chili Dog. I hope your real job goes well. <laughs> Cheers, Chili Dog. We'll see you later, hopefully, for some AC. Or I might do some eye racing this evening. Or I don't know what we're doing, but thanks for popping in, Chili. Hey, Thomas Toth. Okay, we're in second place here. Do I get to do another stage? Sail away, sail away, sail away. Total salary. Hey, Billy Strange boy. We're earning. Do I get to do another rally then? Why was that just one stage? Well, that was that. Info board. Oh, I've got another contract. Contract offer. Well, I've got to accept it. Accept. I'm not even going to read it. Yep. Signed. Okay. Fine. Signed. So, what can I do now? Good. Nice. Billy in the countryside. Extreme kind. We did that. I'm sure we did that. We did. How do you know if you've done it or not? What does it say? Four days. That's rally cross as well. So we just got. Uh, we just have to eliminate these. Green is hill climb. We did. We. China. Oh, okay. We've not done this one. Okay. Oh no, that's what we did do. Why is it still on the screen then? Got to re recruit some more engineers. No. Yeah, the the sort of meta game aspect of this is absolutely atrocious and it's like it just doesn't work with this game because fundamentally oh, i did not mean to do that <laughs> fundamentally this is an arcade rally game so just just give me races and cars to unlock and events good they put this other bollocks in it that doesn't need to be there to just gets in the way and it's not fun managing your contracts and stuff I, well it's not fun to me i don't know who would enjoy that so what am I gonna, what am I doing that I haven't done? Well, I'm gonna do another one of these and see what happens. Let's do this one. Ah, uh, that's it, counter debate. <laughs> It's like they've just shoehorned this this extra stuff into it that adds absolutely nothing to the gameplay. Which is a shame, because the handling's really fun. And it seems like there's like cars and different tracks that look nice. It's, what, it's like, just, just let people drive. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the car, the car, yeah. Wow. It just gets in the way of the game. I guess it's to extend out the gameplay time so it takes a bot from it. It's 
probably. Uh, that, that's, that'll be what it is. It'll, if you if it doesn't have any of that contract bollocks and unlocking of, of like events and join it out and carbine and stuff. The game could probably be completed in like 10 hours, and so they think, oh, that's that's not good. So they have to add all this stuff that pans it out even more. I don't know. I can't think of any other logical reason to put it in the game. That's all right, Alexander. YouTube hates me. It's fine. I'm used to it. Thank you, guy that just subscribed and just driving to a wall. To John. To you, John. Thank you, dude. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate the sub there. It does seem it's just a case of buying cars. Oh, I don't know. The AI seems to always have one guy to be fast. Christian W, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate that sub button click. Sub boost activate. At least we get a fire display. This takes me back. This is like a modern equivalent to like... I don't know if any of you guys had the old Xbox, the first Xbox, the big chunky Xbox. There was a bunch of like driving games that came out for that that were just mediocre driving games, but they were alright. Like, I mean, it's like this, it's it's fine. Kerms45, welcome. Thanks for subscribing, dude. These, these games aren't. This, this isn't bad. Like, if I was like 13, got a PlayStation 4. Oh, God, I can't jump. I'm going to restart. 13, got a PlayStation 4. Mum comes back from the supermarket because she's bought me a game. I'd be like, all right. It's like when I used to play on the SNES. There was loads of games driving games on the SNES. Half of them were absolutely terrible, but I just put, I put quite a few hours into them. I mean, some of them were good, but most of them were terrible. But you know, when, you, when you're like 13, you kind of just go along with this kind of thing, and you, you know, you find it quite enjoyable. As long as it, I mean, the handling works. It's got quite nice handling. It's got some nice car models in it. This will be a type of game that will be like 15 quid in, in six months' time. I'm playing with a gamepad, so uh, I can't really judge on the course of that. It's, it's kind of strange that people buy the more budget games when you still have like when you've got stuff like Forza and the big titles that come out. But back, back, back in the day, the snacks. There was like quite large gaps in between driving games coming out, you know. The bumpy track. I don't know how you're physically supposed to beat the AI on the hardest settings, the, the top AI. I'm sure there'll be some. But Josh, Josh, I think the, the, the issue for most people is most people have the steering wheel and games like Assetto Corsa, Project Cars 2, Race Room, I Race, and what have you, they don't really work on it. I mean, you can play them on a gamepad, but you know, they don't really work on a gamepad. And it's more, and you have to get up to a certain level to, to really enjoy them. You can't just jump in and start smashing it. The thing is, I think sim, sim racing is kind of its own hobby, though. So it's kind of separate to gaming. You kind of notice this, but it's what? It's a bit of a cheeky overtake. Sim racing is like remote control car driving or something. You know, it's it's, it's not it's, it's not really gaming in the same way. I mean, they are they are games. Oh my god, the AI just warned me. I'm gonna have to restart again. 
I'm going to turn the AI down a bit because they're smashing me here. Let's try it on 80. have like a flashback thing. <clears throat> there's no there's no flashback in this so that makes it very hard if you get taken out by AI. Dash, dash, just, it's, it's not common because if you say, oh, it's simulation. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it is in many ways. Driving sims is still, it's still gaming, <laughs> but it is set. playing driving sims, they're not playing them in the same way that people play flying sims. James Butler, what, what have you been buying on Amazon? <laughs> you bought a car, very generous of you. Very nice of you to buy a Ferrari F40 for a million pounds. Use my Amazon affiliate link, appreciate that. That'd be good. Graphics card, nice. Well, you got one of the 10 series ones. Cheers, man. Probably, uh, probably get a few quid from that. Appreciate that. Oh my god. I can't drive this. It's not it. Kevin. <laughs> the AI down. AI down. Nice one, James. Hopefully, it lets you. What are you playing VR or 2D? Right, AI's going down to 70 now. 
they I seem erratically difficult. They're a lot easier in the hill climb and the rally stages than they are in the uh, in the rally cross stages. <laughs> Ramming Bob, but who doesn't? Oh, I've just skipped through all the gears. Amazon's a place to buy Ferraris from. You get Auto Trader. City car driver, yeah, it's got really terrible physics, but it's got really good. Um, it's good for practicing driving around in town in a car. But the physics are awful. I mean, I guess if you're driving a road car. It's like, yeah. My God, what the AI is super erratic in this game, from time from event to event. And have they maybe upgraded their cars or supposed to uh, I can't keep up with them well so much for that Good, I know. Let's turn them down to oh, I'll push them on a hundred percent fifty. Well, I, I haven't got a new car. This was the only car I could afford. I've been pit manoeuvred. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it, I think you're right. It was just because of the car. They're slow in this one. Get ready for the plane. Every single time.
Yeah, and it's not really my my sort of game to be honest. As I say, I think if you were like, say if you're like 13, 14, and you haven't got anything else better to do or play, not like it's bad, but I'm not I'm not getting like hyped for this. I'm not getting the dirt around the excitement. Even the, the Forza games, I think they're more compelling. Obviously, they're not AAA titles, but in terms of unlocks and what have you. they tried to make this more realistic I don't know why they didn't do more like these sort of classical arcade rally stages where where everything's a bit more spaced out a bit more maybe you've got loads of cars that you're racing against you have to overtake you know like the old Sega rally games that sort of stuff it seems weird to me for them to try and take on a something like dirt games could have done like a really this could have been more traditionally arcade and then I think it would make a lot more sense I've just lost it guilty I'm not quite sure who is particularly going to get this like if you like proper if you like rally simulators or realistic rally games you'd, you'd be like on Dirt Rally and uh, WRC7 whatever it's called okay, maybe it's just for it's just for people that like general racing games, I guess but then those people are going to be buying Forza so the Forza Horizon 4 comes out this month is it, or is it October? What was that rally game from the 90s? That might be in V Rally. <laughs> Ah, uh, second place. Get some money. Yeah, I mean, I guess Forza is 60 quid, which is a lot of money. So maybe that's where this fits in. People are like, oh, I'll, I'll you know, 15 quid. And they pick it up. Well, obviously not a launch, but... Oh, we're back here. Why are we doing... It's the same again. Oh, well, we'll do it. Let's start that again. <laughs> I was in my off-road physics mode there in my head. Well, Dirt Rally 2 is going to be announced in a couple of weeks' time, I think. So, yeah. We shall see. Cheetah. Rocky. 
I don't hate F1 2018. It just rubs me the wrong way because I'm miserable. I'm a miserable sim snob. <laughs> I don't know why F1. Well, I do know why. Flora, yielding hatred towards F1 2018. It's just. It's the PC version. Probably wouldn't mind the console version. It's the fact that the menus don't work. At a basic level, how can you sell a game where the menus don't work? Especially for a game like that. Not like it's early access. They should have delayed the PC version for like six months. Actually made sure it worked. I can't see anything. Put the headlights on. It's battle this summer with the headlights. Thanks for the support, Rocky. Really appreciate that. Yeah, I know what you mean, and the, and the input's not too bad with F1 2018 as well, we've got with the latency and the, the handling's alright, I mean, like, you know, it's, like, it's fine. You can, the back of the car doesn't just go in annoying ways now, and you can, you can kind of push and the cars are quite nippy and stable, so, I just, for me, the career thing doesn't make sense, because it's like, why not just just play with the simulators of, of why why do I want to race AI when I can be raced against real people whoops I never really enjoyed racing AI because it always feels like it's cheap in some cheap shallow way three two Whoa, one the bloody go. made me crash haven't donated in ages a veto, thank you, man. That's really generous. <laughs> thank you so much, dude. <laughs> you, just, you just took me out, you bugger. <laughs> can't, I can't deal with donations whilst doing running games. Appreciate that. A veto. Finito. I've got to do an insurance claim now. I'm just driven into that car. See where we place. <laughs> oh, we won because we've got the AI on two. See, now I put them on 100% uh, in the middle, 50, whatever it was. We're now like 30 seconds too quick. So I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to put the AI on a harder setting. Let's see what time they... Oh, bugger. I need to do that. No, press the wrong button. Now let's try the AI on like 100% and see what they do with the timing. So it doesn't make any sense. In the rally cross, you put them on that setting and they're bloody impossible. In the hill climb... They're 10 seconds too slow. Hey, uh, Devexy. There's not going to be any VR in this because the game barely runs on full screen. On PlayStation. But, yeah. Unless someone can... It's, oh, I think it's on Real Engine, so it's potential that someone can hack it in on PC when it comes out on PC. Yeah, I mean, the way I'm seeing this game, it's got quite nice gamepad input. If you, if you were the type of player that just likes driving games in general and you just want a bunch of like you just like a bunch of missions and objectives to do you know you don't really care you're sort of a completionist then you probably enjoy it if you're expecting something like Forza you won't enjoy it no, like uh, Forza Horizon if you're expecting something like Dirt Rally you probably won't enjoy it you know Graphics are quite nice, but it runs at 30 FPS. 
sound is quite nice. A little bit flat, but it, the sound doesn't pick it off the game at all. It does have wheel support. I've not tried it. Whoops. It's not going to help with time. You've become a racing game snob as well. <laughs> it, it ruins, driving simulators ruin your enjoyment. Because you get like a force feedback wheel, and then you're like, oh, I expect all driving games to have nice deep mechanics to them. I expect all driving games to have really good force feedback. And then you get a direct drive wheel, and you're like, oh, bloody hell, it's like a real car almost. So... <laughs> Maybe it's good that most people haven't played driving simulators because it'd only ruin life for them. Just think how many people have never played a driving game with a steering wheel, like a good driving game with full speed back. Uh, yeah, probably could do Mr. Big Gay, Al, but uh, I know we still won by what? By like. 10 seconds on the hardest possible setting. And I went off road. So what's that about? Yeah, the AI, the AI setting's utterly inconsistent in this. <laughs> it doesn't seem to matter. Rally cross. Rally cross the AI are like insane. Why is that flashing red? Joined another contract. A high AK one five oh four. Hill climb wizard. You're a hill climb wizard, Harry. Why am I? What am I doing here? Driving test. Okay. Surely I should have done the driving test before doing 10 stages, but okay. Why is it so wobbly? Because <laughs> uh, rally drivers are drunk. That's how they get. That's how they uh, get rid of, over the fear of crashing into trees. They have a few drinks before they get in the car. But okay. What am I doing? Where am I going? Whoa, this is skiddy. Nice stages in this though as well. I mean like nice levels. Ah oh, the rear 360 no scope. Really nice uh these in uh, other driving games with big open environments with fun corners. Good brake sound actually. You, you hear that on the brake. Do I have to take the joke again? Oh. It in. Gosh, I'm a ferry this time. Oh, what's that about? What? Why were those railings moving? Oh, don't drive into the lorry. Can't afford that. 
Omega. That's better. That's why I'm lining it up because I'm sliding some of these cars up. Why am I doing six laps of this? <laughs> I'm a professional Sebastian Loeb at this. Why are the railings driving in across every other lap? Use a wheel. No. What am I using to drive the uh, PlayStation 4 controller? <laughs> Why are those railings <laughs> sentient? place I don't want to do that again failure benchmark time 4 minutes 25 what do I need like a ridiculous car to do that how am I supposed to get 50 oh some of those laps were pretty good see what's the difficulties all over the place in this it was the, the exercise was to just do a fast time I failed the test drive for the contract oh no Oh, I've also quit out the menu there. Yeah, you can you can balance the cars on the on the brake and the accelerator. I need to go to a dealer. I've only got twenty seven thousand pounds. Buggies. Yes. Oh. No. So despite doing a bunch of races already, I've, I, you know. Why am I just stuck on these events on the screen? Like, the pacing of the game is really horrible. It's what you get for not reading. What, what we're not reading. We did that and won that at 10,000. We've already done these events. It's like we just have to keep doing them to uh, get more money. Let's do this. Uh... Let's do this English rally. Half the game seems to be working out what difficulty to set the AI at so you can have a good race. That's the real challenge.
out of the way. I don't know if it's quite nice in this, but it looks kind of, it's got a weird cartoon look. Trail breaking with a certain amount of steering, is it? <laughs> this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's very frustrating. And even on this AI setting, once again, we have one AI that's lazy being quick and the rest are just terribly slow. So once you once they've got away, that one guy's got away, you're screwed. Would be better if you used a wheel. Maybe. Well, I probably would actually if you're catching those slides, probably right, Gary. He's asking. There we are. There we <laughs> Gregor Hutu's <laughs> so, <laughs> Gregor Hutu's being combined with Sebastian Loeb for the leading AI. The rest of the AI are just on drugs. This is what happens, regardless of what we set the AI to. There's in the rally cross, there's always one that's like 15, 20 seconds faster. But in every other, every other event, the AI is slow. It would seem. Oh, I got to pay my staff. I still can't buy a car. They've just used the the currency thing and the staff thing as a way to drain money from you so that you have to do more grindy racing of the same couple of events you've already done. Oh, you do not, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can take any more. <laughs> well, three hours. Three hours. I mean... It's not, it's not sucking me into it, you know. The handling's nice, but... Hey, Carmen Hunt. <laughs> Welcome back. Carmen Hunt. I don't think it's terrible. As I say, I think I think if uh, you give this to, like, a 30, 12, 13-year-old, they're kind of like... They like cars, and they like completed stuff. They could play through it. But there's nothing in it that's, like, amazing. Although, I mean, the car handling is perfectly fine. It'd be nice if more arcade games had this sort of handling in them. 
Yeah, I think we'll go we'll go over to some AC. I think, or I might do some I racing first and then do some AC. Please call me Angel Tia. <laughs> well, because you've got you've logged in as an account, your Carmen Hunt account. Angels cry, angel tears. You've named yourself after Take That song. Angel tears. <laughs> Don't be crying, angel tears. I should have been in a 90s boy band. Guys, I'm crying angel tears. Because uh, I've been playing too many console games. What games do I like? I like GoldenEye on the N64. Burnout, Split Second. Uh, Battlefield 1942. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, um, Day of Defeat, uh, Day of Infamy, Half-Life, Half-Life 2, not Half-Life 3, Peggle, Peggle Knights, Bejeweled, uh, Plants vs. Zombies, the original one. Uh, I like lots of games. Crap games? What are you talking about? Seto Corsa, iRacing, all the driving sims. I like all the ga- I like good games. Nelson Ribeiro, crap games. How can you call them crap games? They're all amazing. Hey, Stubby. You're in a good mood. Don't ruin it. <laughs> oh! I'm tired. Oh, I don't like. I watched a video of Battlefield 5. It looked awful to me. I've judged it already. Is there a free beta at the moment on PC? I'll have to check it out. It just looked. It looked lost to me. It didn't look like World War II. I mean, I don't know what the people are wearing and what's going on and, and like the, the environments. And it, it didn't look like World War II. It didn't look like World War II. Just everything that's going on, the running around and stuff. Uh, when you play it, it's fun. Okay, I'll have to give it a go. I kind of moved away from Battlefield games. I was a huge fan of Battlefield 1942, the expansions, 2142. Vietnam, I thought, was a bit crap, but I played it a fair bit. It was all right, but it was it, they started going downhill. Battlefield 2, I quite enjoyed, especially, especially Project Reality mod. But then uh, Battlefield 3... I, to be fair, I did play Battlefield 3 for like a couple hundred hours, but, you know, since then it's just, you know, not really my thing. I didn't really... Didn't... Oh, Bad Company 2 I quite enjoyed, actually, to be fair. And Battlefield 1943 on the Xbox 360 I enjoyed. Gary Clark, is is Battlefield 5 on PC? But is the beta on PC? Can I get that? I'll have to try it out. I'm not going to buy the game to try it. Is is this better than Dirt Four? I, I mean, I, uh, it's different. It's different. I don't know. I never really liked Dirt Four. I don't, Dirt Four. I don't know. I I honestly don't know. But both Dirt Four and this are kind of just like they're like uh, they just are. I didn't expect this to be a sim in the first place, so I've not got any disappointment over this. But, you know. There's no humour in this. Where's why, why can't we have humour in rally games? Like someone said in the chat, why can't we have like a co-driver that's going, oh, what are you doing? Like, inject some like enjoyment into it in that way. So you go through stages, and when you have a bad result, the co-driver's like, oh, and every time you make a mistake, they're, like, taking the piss out of you. And then you can have a manager that's, like, grumpy. Why is there no humour in these games? That Actually, I understand why, because they're probably just trying to get the game working, and they're, they're probably on a really tight deadline. <laughs> so that would be too hard to put in the game. Dribble caution! Dribble caution, Samir! <laughs> Okay, download the beta from... Can, can we do that now? Let's have a look. But there, there you go. That's uh, that's V Rally 4 so far. Let, I'm going to... 
Oh, no. There it is. How do I... Um, is it on the store? It's going to take like an hour to download. <laughs> Thanks, Big Gay Al. It was nice. It was all right. I mean, it was like a five, six out of ten burger. I didn't have the right sort of relish. Where Where is it in the PlayStation Store, Battlefield V? Featured. Just trying to... I thought Spider-Man was already out. That looks like a really good game. Um... Well, I can't find it. Where where do they put... Um, I know you guys can't see anything. Where on PlayStation 4 do they put, like, demo stuff? Go to Battlefield 5. Wow, I've got to get my monthly games. I always forget to do this. Destiny 2. God of War 3 remastered. That could be fun. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure where it is. Do a search. Oh, here we go. Today's top search is Battlefield V Beta, right. Okay, download. Uh, how long is the beta going on for? Oh, what, the early access for £25 thing? Okay, it's downloading. It's going to take a long time. It's just downloading now. So, uh, well, this will be interesting. Why don't they do it on PC? What ends on the... Oh, the beta ends on the 11th, okay. Um, well, guys, on, on that note, on that note, I think we can, uh, we're going to stop this stream and I'll probably, um, I think we'll go over to some PC sim racing. So, uh, that, that was V Rally 4. Um, I'll probably, I'll, I'll do, I'm, I might put a video out on it. <laughs> I did a little summary of what we thought of it after playing it for a few hours. Um. But uh, there you go. I will uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. Click the like button one final time if you uh, haven't and you really like clicking that like button. Fable be told that those that click the like button become invincible and will live forevermore. <laughs> you look sad. That's just my face. If you have to look at this face in the morning every day, you would be sad as well. Do some night rally in AC. Well, we'll see. We will see. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Well, a minute, probably like half an hour or something. Thanks uh, for taking part, everybody. And thanks for tuning in early, earlier than normal. We don't normally start this early. Um, till, until later, guys. Goodbye. Off we go.